my dear children, I do hopes and prays that all of y'all are keeping well and having a safe time at home these days. And even if you have to go outside, I hope you are being safe. So, today's Sunday school story is about a lady. A very famous lady. I'm sure some of y'all must have even heard about her. Have any of y'all heard of the word, words or the name Mother Teresa? Yes, Mother Teresa. It's quite a famous name. It was the name of a very famous and kind-hearted nun. A lady who served God and who worked mostly in India helping the poor. So our story today is about this lady. So let's have a look at our video for today. Once there was a little girl who was always willing to give a helping hand. Her name was Agnes and she lived in Macedonia with her parents and two siblings. Agnes was raised to love God and love others above everything else. One day, a new priest arrived in their town. He had been working in India, far from where Agnes lived. She loved listening to his stories about helping the poor in a city called Calcutta. So when Agnes turned 18, she said goodbye to her family and started a new journey. She was determined to become a nun and help people no matter what. She travelled to Ireland and joined the sisters of Loreto. Once she had settled at the convent, Agnes asked the nuns to call her Teresa from that day on. A few months later, she was ready to board a ship and travel to India. The language, the colours, the food, the smells, everything was new and different to Teresa. Mother Teresa taught at a school for many years, but she knew there were some people who needed her more than her students, the poorest of the poor. Mother Teresa took to the streets. She went into the streets, determined to help people. Soon, 12 students joined her. They called themselves the Missionaries of Charity and they set out to care for all those who needed help. They chose to wear a simple sari. Mother Teresa opened a hospital in an old Hindu temple. There was always one more bed, one more plate of rice, one more blanket to cover whoever needed it. She knew that the smallest things could make the biggest difference. For more than 20 years, she picked up thousands of people from the streets of India. She opened hospitals, orphanages, and schools all over the world too. She received many awards and prizes also. Mother Teresa sent a beautiful message to the world. It doesn't matter if you do big or small things in your life, as long as you do them with great love. What an amazing story of a young little girl who grew up with her family, but she always liked to do things to help people. And one day, when she heard the story that this priest was telling about the people in India and how he had been working with them, she felt that she too wanted to do that when she gets bigger. So, when she went to Ireland, she became a nun. And then later on, she went to India to work with the people. Those days, there were no planes. So, she had to travel a very long distance in a ship. And first, she was a teacher, teaching children. And later, she realized in her heart that God was calling her to work with the people. 
to work with the poor people, to help those who didn't have a lot of things, who didn't have hospitals to go to, who didn't have proper places to stay. So this is what Mother Teresa did. She helped the sick, the people on the streets who had no homes, who had no food, who had no clothes to wear. This is the work that Mother Teresa did. She was a serving servant of God. She was doing God's work, helping the poor, being there for them. She also made such a lot of hospitals and orphanages for the children and the people who needed it. And remember in our story, they said that there was always one extra plate of rice and one extra blanket or an extra bed that was available for anyone who needed it. We too should remember that our small, small deeds will help people. Our small deeds, it doesn't have to be very big. It doesn't have to be like Mother Teresa. We don't have to go far away and work on the streets and help the poor people. But we can do little things. We can help our neighbors who don't have enough food maybe. We can give them some of the food that we have in our homes. We can give them the fruits that we have in our garden, in our trees. Maybe when we are buying medicine for our home, we can also buy medicine for a house next door or in our neighborhood who doesn't have the money for it. We can share our books with our neighborhood children. If you have extra exercise books, extra color pencils, chalk, pencils, anything, you can share it with them. Even clothes, good clothes that you don't want to wear but are very good clothes so you can share it with your neighbors little little things go a long way and God sees your heart God sees how much you care for the people around you because God cares for all people it will make God also very happy in our Bible in the New Testament in the book 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 13 it says and as for you, my dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. The Bible says never get tired of doing good. Sometimes in your house, you might be angry sometimes. Always doing this, always sweeping, always arranging. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of doing this. But what does the Bible tell us? The Bible tells us to not get tired of doing good things. So, what should we do? We should do our work, whatever it is, helping our family, helping our friends, helping our neighbors even with a happy heart. Not being in a bad mood and being like, Ayo, I am doing this only because Amma told me to do this. No, we should do it with a happy heart. Just like how Mother Teresa worked, with the people and she did it with a happy heart she was happy to serve god and serve all the people of god as well and we too should help others be kind to others be caring to others with a big and kind heart as well for this week's activity we are not going to be doing a handwork but instead Auntie wants you to do some helpful acts around the house and maybe even in your neighborhood. You can help your mother with washing the dishes, arranging your bed and your room, putting away your toys. Maybe you can help your father with the laundry, help him to fold the clothes. You can help your younger sister or younger brother with their handwork if they are finding it a bit difficult. You can help your grandparents in the garden or carry heavy things that they can't carry. You can share things with your neighbors. It can be food. It can be fruits from your tree. You can also call a friend or a family member and see how they are doing, how they are feeling, if they are healthy and keeping well. As you continue these good deeds this week, don't stop there. Try to do some good deeds throughout your day, every day. Just like we learned in our story today about Mother Teresa. 
Remember how she said that small deeds can go a long way in helping people? So I hope that you will continue to do your good deeds all the time. And now let's sing a very fun and beautiful song that talks about how we should be like Jesus. So let's sing our song. It's called To Be Like Jesus. To be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I ask to be like Him. Through all life's journeys, from earth to glory, all I ask to be like Him. To be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I ask to be like Him. Through all life journey, from earth to glory, all I ask to be like Him. So let's end today's Sunday School lesson with a prayer. You can say the prayer after me. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day you have given me. Jesus, thank you for the many blessings you have given me. Help me to share what I have with others. Thank you for the life of Mother Teresa and for all the good work she did. Jesus, Help me also to be good and kind, loving and sharing to the people around me. Help me to share what I have whenever I can. Jesus, keep everybody safe and healthy. I pray for my country and this whole world. I love you, Jesus. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So till I see you next week with another interesting Bible story and lesson, I hope you take care of yourselves and be obedient to your parents and your elders. And remember, if you're going outside, what do you wear? Your mask. Very good. And keep your hands clean all the time. Till I see you next week. God bless, take care and remember that Jesus loves you very, very much. See you soon. Bye.